Hello Grade 11s, welcome to today's lesson on the cosine function. We are going to practice how to sketch these graphs and how to determine the equation of a sketch. Let's start by looking at the formula for a cosine function. In the formula, y equals a times cos k into brackets x plus p plus q. a vertically compresses or stretches the graph and the value of k horizontally compresses or stretches the graph. p shifts the function horizontally and q shifts the function vertically. Our first example asks us to sketch the function f of x equals cos in brackets x plus 30 degrees plus 3 where x is an element of negative 360 to positive 360. We begin with our standard function and list the coordinates. They are 0, 1, 90, 0, 180, negative 1, 270, 0, 360, and 1. The value of p in this equation is positive 30, which means that the graph has shifted 30 degrees to the left. To determine the coordinates, we subtract 30 from each x-coordinate. This gives us negative 30, 1, 60, 0, 150, negative 1, 240, 0, 330, 1. There is also a vertical shift in this equation. Q is equal to positive 3. This means the graph has shifted 3 units up. So we add 3 units to each y coordinate in step 3. This set of coordinates can now be plotted to sketch the graph. Negative 30, 4, 60, 3, 150, 2, 240, 3, 330, 4. We join the points and get this graph. Notice that it's only been drawn between negative and positive 360 degrees on the x-axis. Let's try another question using the same method. On the same system of axes, where f of x has been sketched, sketch g of x is equal to negative cos x. We start by listing the coordinates of the standard graph. In this function, the value of a is negative 1, which means we need to multiply all the y values by negative 1. The new coordinates are 0, negative 1, 90, 0, 180, 1, 270, 0, 360, and negative 1. Let's plot them on the set of axes. First we plot the points, and then draw the line. Let's see how we can determine the equation if we are given a graph. Here the function f of x is equal to a times cos x plus q is shown. Determine the values of a and q. Looking at the shape, we can tell that the function is a positive cosine graph. We begin by writing out the coordinates of our standard cos graph. Remember that the amplitude is the height of the graph. We see that there is a height of 3 above the x-axis and below the x-axis there is a height of 1 unit. In total, the height is 4, but the amplitude needs to be the same above and below the axis. We divide 4 equally, which gives us a value of 2. Since the amplitude is 2, we must multiply each y-coordinate by 2. Now that we have these coordinates, we see that the graph has shifted 1 unit up in order to get the coordinates that were originally given. We can say that a is equal to 2 and q is equal to 1. So the equation is y equals 2 cos x plus 1. Remember to try the task video at the end of this series. 
You can also learn more about cosine functions on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s. Goodbye.